This video shows how to troubleshoot your computer when the CD DVD drive cannot read disks. Before you begin troubleshooting the disk drive, test to see which types of disks cannot be read. If the drive can read many types of disks, but cannot read disks that were burned on another computer, follow these steps. First, make sure the disk is able to play on the computer that was used to burn it. If that computer cannot play it, the issue is with the disk or the other computer's burn capabilities. Make sure the disk type is compatible with both the computer burning the disk and the computer playing the disk. Make sure the disk burning session was closed after the disk was finished. Try burning the disk at a lower speed. Even though the disk type might be compatible with a faster burn rate, the playback could be less compatible in other drives. Try burning the disk at four times normal speed before using it on other computers. Try burning and playing three different brands of blank disks before troubleshooting the drive. If your CD DVD drive can read some types of disks, but not disks that were purchased from a store, or those from a music or software company, follow these steps. First, make sure the disk drive is listed in Device Manager. On the Start screen, type Device Manager, then select Device Manager from the Search Charm results. Double-click DVD CD-ROM drives to expand the category. If a name for a CD DVD drive does not appear, or it is listed with errors, close Device Manager. For additional help when your drive is not detected in Device Manager, go online to hp.com forward slash support. If the CD DVD drive is listed, go to the next step to make sure autoplay is enabled. Follow these steps to enable autoplay. On the Windows 8 Start screen, type Autoplay, and then select Autoplay from the search charm results. Make sure Use Autoplay for All Media and Devices is selected. Click the drop-down menu next to every DVD, Blu-ray, and CD item, and select Ask Me Every Time. Then click Save. Follow these steps to see if the problem is caused by a poor quality disk. Try playing a software CD and see what happens. If autoplay opens, the drive is able to read the disk. If nothing happens, the drive is unable to read the disk. Press the eject button to remove the disk. Try at least three more software CDs. Make sure they are in good condition and work on other computers. If any disks fail to open, set them aside. If the disks open, then the disk drive is working. Repeat these steps using music CDs from different manufacturers. After testing several types of disks, try using the failed disks in another computer. If the disks still will not open, they might be damaged. If the disks open on another computer, Continue to the next step to troubleshoot the drive. Follow these steps to test if the drive can read disks from a command prompt. At the start screen, type command prompt, then select command prompt in the search charm results. Type disk part at the command prompt and press enter. If you are prompted for an administrator password or confirmation, Type the password or provide confirmation. Place a disk that failed when tested earlier in the drive. Wait about 20 seconds. Type list volume at the command prompt, then press enter. Information about the disk appears. Under the LTR column, Find and make a note of the drive letter next to the CD-DVD drive that contains the disk. 
Type Exit and press the Enter key to return to the command prompt. Type the letter for the drive that contains the disk, followed by a colon, then press Enter. Type DIR, then press Enter. If a list of file names and folders is shown on the screen, the disk data is recognized by the drive. Continue to reinstall the drive in Device Manager. Follow these steps to remove and reinstall the drive name in Device Manager. First, remove any disks from the drive. On the Start screen, type Device Manager, then select Device Manager from the Search Charm results. Double-click DVD CD-ROM Drives. Right-click the drive name and select Uninstall. Click Yes or OK to remove the drive listing and then close Device Manager. On the Start screen, click the power icon, then select Restart. When Windows opens, the drive is automatically configured and the listing is restored in Device Manager. Try using the CD or DVD drive again to see if it can read disks. If it works, you are finished troubleshooting. If it does not work, use the Hardware and Devices Troubleshooter. Windows 8 includes a troubleshooter that checks hardware, such as CD or DVD drives, for problems. Follow these steps to use the Hardware and Devices Troubleshooter. On the Start screen, type Find and Fix Problems, then select Find and Fix Problems in the Search Charm results. Under Hardware and Sound, click Configure a Device. If you are prompted for an administrator password or confirmation, type the password or provide confirmation. Click Next. Windows checks for problems. If the troubleshooter detects problems, follow the on-screen instructions to fix the problem. If the drive is still missing after using the troubleshooter, use Microsoft System Restore. If the computer still cannot read the disk, use System Restore to go back to a time when the drive was working. Find more information about how to use System Restore on this YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash how to for you. When System Restore is complete, try using the CD or DVD drive again to see if it can read disks. If it works, you're finished troubleshooting. If it does not work, the drive might need to be replaced. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash how to for you.